Um, so Josh, first of all, obviously it's transfer deadline day and there's been one deal done already. Paul Glatzel's come back on loan from Liverpool. What, what's your reaction to that? Um, yeah, I think Paul done really well when he was here. Um, when he was obviously when he was fit, he had a few injury problems, but um, I think he showed when he was fit what what he can do and really help the team. How much did you enjoy playing with him last year? And again, coming into the team this year, how, how much are you looking forward to teaming up with him again? Yeah, um, like you said, last year I think it was a completely different system, um, but I enjoyed playing with him. Yeah, I thought his energy was was brilliant, and he added something a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit different, which um, which I thought like maybe we need this year. And last year he offered that as well. And another forward, of course. So, what's the feeling amongst the forwards at the moment? Because there is plenty of competition for those areas, isn't there? Yeah, but I think you need that. You need it to be able to, to rotate to just just general competition. Um, and yeah, I think that they'll all enjoy that competition, and hopefully they can um, all do well. I want to ask you a bit about yourself as well. First league goal of the season last weekend. Is, are you feeling a real emphasis to try and push on now? Yeah, I think that's that was my main goal this year. Um, just for more goals, uh, more goal involvements. I think um, last year I got a few, but this year I wanted I wanted more, and um, I had to be patient. I've been on the team obviously for a few games, so. Um, it was good just I think to once I was back in the team just to just to try and stamp my stamp my authority on it. I remember last season against Oldham, I think you missed a similar opportunity when the ball came to the far post, you took it down and shot over, but is that something you've been practicing that that, that far post run if you like? Um I, not really. I think um I, I found myself in them areas quite a lot. Um it was just that time I had quite a lot of time to think about it and when it came over it was a great ball from Kane and um yeah, it was just I just thought to take it the first time and keep it low. As a young player as well, can that help you as well at times, just that realisation, almost a wake-up call if you like? Yeah, I think sometimes you just need to step back from it um, and just have a think about what, what, you, what, you, what you've been doing well and uh, maybe what you need to work on and I think it, um, it was good because I, I think I needed it um, and now I've realised maybe what I needed to work on and hopefully I can just keep doing that now. And next up is a trip to Leighton Orient. Tests don't come much tougher in League Two at the moment than, than the trip to the League Leaders. They're almost perfect as well. What are your thoughts on them so far? Um, like you said, they've been doing brilliant with a five wins, one draw. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a tough game. I think going to Orient, no matter how they're doing, they'll always be tough. Um, but like On our day, I think we're, we're a match for any team in this league. So, we just need to go there, be confident. Um, I know it's completely different to last year. We went like, went there last year and won on the final day. So, I think if we can do something similar and hopefully we can, we can go ahead and get the win, yeah. And when it comes to the away form again, it, it's well discussed, only 1.3 games so far, but how much of a boost could it be for the whole squad? We, you know, we're getting that first away win of the season at a place like Brisbane Road as well. Yeah, massive, like you say, it's, I think it'll it give us a real good gauge at where, where, where we're at at the moment. And I think if we go there and win, we've come off the back of obviously a good good performance against Newcastle, a good, good uh, game the other day against Colchester, so hopefully we can go there and have a good game. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. But obviously, naturally, a winger. How do you, how are you sort of adjusting to the new shape that the, the Gaffers using this season? Um, I think it's obviously it's adapting because I haven't played in the middle since I was at Hartlepool, and I was that's that's where that was my natural position. Um, I think when you go out wide and then come back to it, it's completely different. Um, but I think I'll, obviously I'm getting used to it now. Um, play training in, in that position and, and going into games, but I don't mind playing wherever if it's off the left or in the middle. It's, Effect. And what kind of things do you have to do differently when you are coming through the middle as opposed to being out wide? Um, I think it's just a lot, um, a lot more like duels, second balls, trying to get like landing on the ball, and um, it's a lot busier as well out wide. You literally you just have your full back most of the time, whereas in the middle you've got two, three men around you. Um, it's just being more aware. I think when you when you're in the middle, um, obviously more checking your shoulders, wondering where things are, and just trying to be connected with the strikers more as well, um, especially when it goes up to them, trying to get get around it. And, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty And obviously, the last few weeks has been very, very hectic schedule. A week break before the Leighton Orient game. Everybody feeling refreshed in the squad? Yeah, um, the gaffer gave us a Sunday Monday off um, just to just to kind of refresh from the tough game. Obviously, Newcastle on the weekend, so the lads have obviously took that as a and got a break. And yeah, they, I think they all feel good. Yeah. Good. And the buzzword from the gaffer this season has been consistency. Do you feel like you're starting to find that underneath your legs as well? Yeah. Um, I think so, yeah. We, we we took a while to get going. I think it, it changed new shape and different things. Um, but like you said, I think we've been adaptable as well. We've changed from the five. We went to the four the weekend, and I think that's that's something that shows that we're we're gelling as a group because we can just adjust and, and change as it goes.